Hi everyone, welcome back to Learning English Pro. In this English lesson, I will be exploring some interesting vocabulary on female animal names in English. Make sure to check out the word list in the description below where you can find all the words covered in today's lesson. If this is the first time you're visiting my channel, Learning English Pro, you're very welcome. My name is Jer and I'm narrating your lesson today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on all my latest English lessons. Over on my channel, check out the community tab where you'll find lots of additional learning English tools like vocabulary guides and fun English quizzes. This video comes to you today because of a subscriber request I got on my previous video, Baby Animal Names. Thank you, Suraqui, for your suggestion. And I will finish up this mini series with another video on male animal names, which I will link in the description when I've published. Also, if you're looking for more English vocabulary on animals, I have a whole range of videos on my channel dedicated to the subject. They are linked throughout the video and in the description. So that's enough business. Let's get started on our English lesson. The first animal we will take a look at today is the goat. The female goat is called a nanny. Repeat after me, nanny. Our next animal is the fearsome lion. The female of the lion is called the lioness. Repeat after me, lioness. Our next animal is the pig. A female pig is called a sow. Repeat after me, sow. There are many different species whose females are also called sows. Let's take a look at those now. We also have the female bear called sow, along with the female raccoon. And the female badger is also called a sow. Moving on, our next animal is a tiger, and a female tiger is called a tigress. Repeat after me, tigress. A female fox is called a vixen, vixen. Our next animal is adored around the world. A female cat is called a queen or a tabby. So we have queen or tabby. Another female animal which takes the name of queen is an ant. Our next female animal name is shared by many animals, but the word cow also represents an entire species. Repeat after me, cow. A female camel is also called a cow, along with the crocodile, the whale, the giraffe, the rat, the seal, and finally a termite. So the females of all these species can be called a cow. Okay, let's move on from cow and explore different animals. Our next animal is a crab, and a female crab is called a Jenny. Jenny. A female horse is called a mare. Repeat after me, mare. This word is also shared by the female zebra. Interestingly, the female seahorse is called a sea mare. Repeat after me, sea mare. Our next animal is a rabbit. A female rabbit is called a jill. Repeat after me, jill. The female leopard is called a leopardess. 
leopardess. Coming up next, we have the very graceful swan. The female swan is called a pen. Repeat after me. Pen. Staying with the bird family, our next animal is a chicken, and a female chicken is called a hen. Repeat after me. Hen. And like cow, hen is used to describe many different female birds, like the duck and the hawk, along with the turkey. The word hen can also be used to describe the female lobster and also the female salmon. Our next female name for an animal may be a bit strange for you to hear me say, but a female dog is called a bitch. Repeat after me, bitch. This word is also shared by female coyotes and female wolves. Moving on, our next animal is the sheep and a female sheep is called a ewe. Repeat after me, ewe. Our next animal is the deer and a female deer is called a doe. Repeat after me, doe. And again, this word doe is shared by many other female animals. Let's take a look. We have the female mouse, the antelope, the hamster, and finally we have the kangaroo. The female kangaroo can also be referred to as a flyer. Repeat after me, flyer. And flyer brings us to the end of our English lesson. Don't forget to check out the word list in the description below. And if you have any suggestions for a video, let me know in the comments. If you're looking for more English vocabulary, head over to my YouTube channel. It's jam packed full of interesting English lessons. Coming up on your screen are some video suggestions just for you. Don't forget to check out my community tab for lots more English content. And there's also a link on screen for you to subscribe to my channel. That just leaves me to say, I hope you have a fantastic day. And remember, keep learning English like a pro.